Isang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Tayo ngayon ay nagkakatipon bilang isang sambayanan upang makiisa sa pagdiriwang ng banal na Eucharistia at masasaksiyan po natin ang pag-iisang dibdib nila Aris at Ingrid at uh, ngayon ay tayo po'y magsitayo bilang tanda ng ating pagsisimula ng ating pagdiriwang ng misang ito. Please all stand. Let us joyfully begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of Christ's love for us. May Almighty God, the mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lualhati sa Diyos sa kaitaasan.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that these your servants, now to be joined by the sacrament of matrimony, may grow in the faith they profess and enrich your church with faithful offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Because you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with heartfelt mercy, with kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive whatever grievances you have against one another. Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. Over all these virtues put on love, which binds the rest together and makes them perfect. Christ's peace must reign in your hearts, since as members of one body, you have been called to that peace. Dedicate yourself to thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, rich as it is, dwell in you. In wisdom made perfect, instruct and admonish one another sing gratefully to god from your hearts in songs hymns and inspired songs whatever you do whether in speech or in action do it the name of jesus christ give thanks to god the father through him this is the word of the lord thanks be to god our response will be, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and He answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look to Him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not be blushed with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress He saved him. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord exams, around those who fear him and delivers them taste and see how good the lord is happy the man who takes refuge in him i will bless the lord at all times we all rise to honor the holy gospel Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Live on in my love. You will live in my love if you keep my commandments. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and live in his love all this i tell you that my joy may be yours and your joy may be complete this is my commandment love one another as i have loved you my brothers and sisters the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ please be seated
Magandang hapon sa iyo, Aris. Magandang hapon sa iyo, Ingrid. My dear friends, mga kapatid, sa ilang sandali po ay masasaksihan po natin ang uh, pag-iisang dibdib nila Aris at uh, Ingrid. In a little while, we will be witnessing the exchange of love between Ingrid and Aris. At ang pag-ibig po na ipapahayag nila mamaya ay hindi ordinaryong pag-ibig lamang, hindi simpleng pagmamahalan. In fact, this is a very special kind of love. It is the most sacred type of love. Ang tawag po ng mga spiritual writers dito sa pag-ibig na ito ay unconditional love. At kapag sinasabi po natin unconditional love, ang binibigyang diin po natin dito ay hindi yung salitang love, kundi ang binibigyang diin po natin dito ay yung salitang unconditional. My dear Aris and Ingrid, mga ngako kayo sa isa't isa na magmula ngayon, you will love each other unconditionally. Tanong, what does unconditional loving mean? Unconditional loving simply means this, yes, I will love you always, no matter what. I will love you always, even if. I will love you always, whatever happens. I will love you always, whatever happens to me. I will love you always, whatever happens to you. I will love you always, whatever happens tomorrow. Aris and Ingrid, your love for one another will either be conditional or unconditional. There is no third way. There is no third possibility. It's either magsiset ka ng condition sa inyong pagmamahalan o hindi. Pero kung naglagay ka na ng condition o kung maglalagay kayo ng condition sa isa't isa, hindi, tu hindi talaga tunay na pagmamahalan iyan. Bakit? Because unconditional love is and must always be a free, total gift. At yan ang dahilan kung bakit po tayo nandito ngayon. We are all here to witness. Oh, not only to witness, but to celebrate. To celebrate the unconditional gift of love of Aris and Ingrid. We are here not only to witness, but to celebrate because their unconditional love is not something cheap and it can never be cheap. Hindi po mumurahin ang pagmamahalan nila Aris at Ingrid. Kaya nga po kanina, lumapit po ako sa kanila bago yung uh, umpisa ng misa at tinanong ko po sila. Tinanong ko po si Aris kung bakit si Ingrid ang gusto niyang pakasalan. E ang dami-dami na ang babae sa mundo. In the same way, bakit si Ingrid gusto niyang pakasal kay Aris? E ang dami-dami na mga lalaki sa mundo. At iisa lang ang naging sagot po nila. Silang dalawa ay nagmamahalan. They love each other so much. Hindi ito mumurahin. It can never be cheap. Bakit? Kasi ang itinatayo ninyo dito ay ang inyong mga sarili. Ang itinataya ninyo dito ay inyong buhay. No more, no less. Kaya nga po sa mata ng ating inang simbahan, ito po ay isang sakramento. It is a sacrament. Why? Because it is something holy, napakabanal. 
It is something of God. Galing sa Diyos. Sa katunayan, bago pa po kayo ipaglihi ng inyong mga magulang o bago pa kayo ipaglihi ng inyong nanay, bago pa kayo dumating sa sinapupunan ng inyong nanay, sa totoo lang, God already knew. Alam na ng Diyos na kayong dalawa ang magkakatuluyan. Bakit? Because this sacrament is something of God galing sa Diyos. Hindi ito mumurahin. Why? Because this is the most sacred. Napakasagrado nito. And that is why it is forever. Pang magpakailanman. Yes, mamahalin kita lagi. Ano man ang mangyari, kahit ano pa ang mangyari. Yes, mamahalin kita lagi. Ano mang mangyari sa akin, mamahalin kita lagi. Ano man ang mangyari sa iyo, ano man ang mangyari bukas. Ang tawag dyan, unconditional love. May best wishes to you, Ingrid and Aris. And may our faithful God grace you now and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Inaanyayan ko po yung mga magulang, yung mga ninong at ninang nila Aris at Ingrid. Pumunta po kayo dito sa harapan at dadako na po tayo sa rito ng kasal. Sama po yung mga magulang.